Oh, yeah, yeah, no, there was uh, a lot of reaction. Um, I mean, we had a constant measure of police harassment culminating <clears throat> one night when we were giving a performance at the theatre in Cape Town with the police arriving and calling John Winston, myself, and the very, very courageous man who started the Space Theatre, and in a sense, I think, sort of um, gave protest theatre in South Africa, alternative theatre in South Africa, the, the first push, a um, man by the name of Brian Asbury, um, please call the four of us together and said, if you proceed with the performance, which is scheduled to start in a half hour's time, um, we are going to arrest the four of you afterwards. On what grounds? <clears throat> on grounds? Well, they said, we said, on what grounds are you going to uh, charge us? They said, we're going to charge you for having violated the Group Areas Act. You're black actors, and um, this is a white area, and you are occupying these premises. Now, our first performances of Sizwe Bonzi, which is a, was the same case with, with Serpent Players, all of Serpent Players' work, for that matter, was that we managed to get away <coughs> with this problem by making them private. The loophole that we sort of used, the loophole in the law, was that if you had actually invited each individual who was present, it constituted a private performance. The private performance was a private uh, affair. It was not public. Prosecution under the Group Areas Act could only take place if, in fact, you had uh, given a public performance. Um, that was advice that we had got from lawyers. The uh, police said no. We believe we can sort of uh, prosecute you and get away with it regardless. 